And on that note, with that uh, diversion out of the way, let's uh, enjoy some David Benzies. Warning. Censorship. I love that so still what does Ontario's chief medical officer of health, Dr. Karen Moore, do for an encore after laying down the rules for Thanksgiving, which is now called Vaxgiving by Toronto Mayor John Tory? Well, Dr. Karen has now come up with the rules for Halloween. First rule, Dr. Karen recommends... Doesn't he look weird? There's something about him right now that looks weird. Yeah. He's also you might have like, on his gotten head. his hair dyed more recently. No. Yeah, it's like a like a haircut, or it's like uh, something about his face. I Poofed can't it put it. Yeah, it looks like somebody had like a big wind cannon and just shot him in the face with it. He's like, <sighs> he's not wearing his hat. Well, I mean, yeah, because he's in the studio. When's the last time we saw him without the hat? It's always when he's in the studio. He doesn't wear that. It's when he's out. Uh... Yeah, but we haven't. At least I haven't seen him in studio in like forever. Maybe it's it just like I forgot what his hair looked like. I was editing some clips tonight. I think the last time we saw him in the studio was back during the uh, Palestinian protests. Uh, yeah, it might have been. And he was talking to Mocha in the studio. Um, Grimpy said he looks like he's from a 90s VHS. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yes. I can see that. I mean, everything about his aesthetic is retro to me. And kids trick or treat outside as much as possible. No, folks, he actually said that. Trick or treating should take place outdoors as much as possible. Be creative. Fashion a face covering into your Halloween costume design. Trick or treat outside. I like a part of me wants to like, <laughs> agree <laughs> with him, which is like it is kind of ridiculous. Like trick or treating obviously is an outside thing or whatever, right? But it's like I could see a health official, a health official wanting to just be like clear about that in case people were planning some sort of like inside a haunted mansion or or like some sort of thing like that. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't seem as ridiculous as he's making it out to be. Although I do agree, most most Halloween activities take place outside. Yeah, I, guess. I don't know. It's just kind of like a whoa. But, uh, ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. Like, <laughs> come on, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah, not in downtown apartments. That is, that is true. Second, do not ask trick or treaters to sing or shout for their treats. So I guess we must now whisper trick or treat. Or maybe make use of sign language. I don't know why, but I'm super offended by that. I, I would have been super impressed if he just did some sign language. But can no, we? He, he I did didn't that. make my kids go. Sorry, can we, can we that. replay that? What was the mouth noises going on there, too? <laughs> I'm going to make, the, like, uh, children, we're not saying trick or treat this Halloween. We're, we're uh, signaling. A... So I guess we must now whisper trick or treat. Or maybe make use of sign language. <laughs> Third. Love you. Just like a little ASMR. Yeah, David Menzies ASMR. Jesus. <laughs> hello, Hilda Beast. Welcome. And uh, hello, Miranda, as well. God, what a dick. Oh, no, he's, he's terrible, but it's still amazing. And, like, who, like, I, again, who cares? Like, of course, they're not going to be like, no, when you go trick or treating, make sure you breathe on everyone during a pandemic. This shit was so great. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Everybody should go as some sort of costume that incorporates coughing, um, just for, you know, Equality for those who are currently sick with COVID and while trick or treating. And everyone should go follow Hildebeast if you aren't already. I was in their chat earlier watching, uh, we were all watching cake videos, and Hildebeast then sent me a YouTube video of their squash cheesecake, 
which to be honest looked kind of gross to me but if squash cheesecake is uh your thing <laughs> but their chat is fun i enjoy watching their streams hill is awesome the right is so good at comedy yeah Keep interactions with trick-or-treaters short and encourage them to <laughs> move along after receiving their treats. Oh, you don't say, Dr. Karen. What a bummer. You see, I usually invite little kids into my house on Halloween. You know, I want to know all about their life stories, and I want them to hang around as long as possible, or at least until the search party is formed. <clears throat> and finally... <clears throat> You know, the greatest jokes is when you pretend to be a child predator. Those those are the best those are the best jokes in the in the lot. David Menzies. <laughs> oh my, I self report, no I no hate doubt. When he tries to be funny. I like when he goes and gets beat up by people. I don't <laughs> like it when he tries to be funny. <laughs> well, I mean that is also funny. I mean uh I mean, I, it's it, it's because I, I get the feeling based on like a lot of the stuff that we watch that you like the least. You you are not a fan of cringe. <laughs> no, I like it. Listen, Enzies is good at physical comedy. He made that choice to bite through that tape in Montreal. That was a great bit that he did yeah. <laughs> and a great bite. Uh, that like oh my hip replacement oh or like when he tried when he like when he yelled at a dude who had like dogs off leash and got bit by yeah. one like <laughs> he's great at physical comedy bits it's just like he's not good with stand-up he's not good at like talking to the camera we should now that you've said that two cars we should do a uh that should be our january we or late december early january we should do a best of stream and maybe on twitter i'll have like a poll where people can vote on like their favorite david menzies moments and then i'll collect a bunch of clips like related to like types of content like physical comedy david menzies or <laughs> like cringy moments or something and we'll uh we should do a best of david menzies for end of the year thing that'd be hilarious i think i've already named all the best ones yeah <laughs> Although, Listen, I've got a store. The, the LCBO one was still good. Like, yeah. that was... <laughs> but that was still a physical comedy bit, too, because that was just him staying there for three hours. I, but it wouldn't be editing. I would just, like... All it would be was is me remembering where the moments are and then, like, jotting down the time so that I can play it on stream again. So it won't, it won't be editing. Rebel Media probably and, has... And, like, problem. every time... Sorry? Lack of charisma for being in the org. <laughs> yeah, probably. They can't be more charismatic than Ezra, I think, is probably the thing, because then Ezra would get threatened. Yeah. And because they would get more famous and then leave, like, all of the ones who are more <laughs> charismatic than him. <laughs> the one He's learned would, his lessons. The one thing I would give to Menzies is that he has a certain level of confidence that some of the other people do not have. Like, I'm not... like. Describing it as charisma is incorrect. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing charismatic about this. It's just so like he doesn't brazen. Give a sh yeah, brazen is a good word. <laughs> That's a great word, actually. You know, it's just he's out there. You know, and so there's none of that sort of like uh, hindrance or nervousness, I guess, about it. Uh, to be fair, all the rebel media takes a cringe. But yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Finally, Dr. Karen wants trick-or-treaters to him wear a face him Dr. covering Karen all the time. when physical distancing cannot be maintained. Oh, and he wants us to, quote, be creative, end quote, with masking. Oh, uh, you want creative, Doc? Uh, you've come to the right place because I have now made it my mission to make the safest costume possible in order to save the small fries of our great dominion. Come on, let's take this outside. Okay, folks, step one. <laughs> He's not wearing a hat. Come on, David. Does the top of his head look blurred? Uh, 
yeah, it just looks like he's got windswept hair. What's happening? I mean, maybe that's yeah, like what's happening in the studio. The is too. It could also be in the studio they've like filled it in more or something. Or like, I mean, it's okay to be bald, David. Like we're all, like, like yeah. I'm balding more than than he is. I think so. I don't know. The color doing. looks different too. I feel like I don't know. It's probably because I I don't know if they have like a makeup person or like again they used to work for Sun Media where they actually had like makeup people. So I wonder if like he has his own sort of like procedure he goes through to like doll himself up in the studio. They really want to replicate the American outreach media, but they just come off as goofy. Well, I mean, especially him. I, I think Ezra more closely approximates approximates the uh, outrage media in the U.S., which is why he gets to go on things like uh, Alex Jones and uh, Tucker Carlson. I can never imagine David Menzies going on Tucker Carlson. Jesus. Creating our uber-safe Halloween mask is, of course, using PPE masks, you know, the kind of which Dr. Frankenstein, I mean, Dr. Fauci, originally <laughs> advised us against wearing. Then he said you should mask up, and to be extra safe, two or even Dr. three masks uh, would do the trick. So who are we to argue with Dr. Fauci? So let's do a <laughs> triple play of PPE mask. Oh, yeah, prop comedy. Here we go. Here we go. Hell, yeah. It'd be very funny if that were just a thong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, two masks. Oh my god, let's go for three. Uh-huh. <laughs> this one here, this is my favorite okay. mask for obvious reasons. You can still now, hear them perfectly step well. In creating a super safe Halloween mask, well, it's these guys. Now, I want to be very clear about something, folks. Um, this is not part of the actual Halloween costume. This is more <laughs> piece This is a good bit. Well. As you can see, these are Groucho glasses. <laughs> see? Like, how quickly this video turned around the second he got physical with it. Like... I, I want to remind our audience that he went to journalism school. <laughs> he was a certified journalist. Oh, slow news day, huh, Menzies? I know, fucking every piece. Remember when he just stood on a highway? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... <laughs> David the hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid menzoid, menzoid is, is good. good. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes, David, let the mask cover your eyes. Please demonstrate by walking into traffic. I, I do love it, the, the mask riding up so high. Fantastic. They go back some 80 years. Who knew that Groucho Marx was ahead of the uh, curve? Uh, do you remember back in March when um, Mexican researchers uh, said that if you're going to eat, take off your mask but put a nose guard on? because that could help reduce the spread of the coronavirus. He really was just annoyed by this, and it's like, why is... Yeah, sure, why not? If it helps reduce the spread, why not? See, but everybody can be... Yeah, so there you have it. Um... What were you going to say? It's a good Squidward costume. <laughs> like... It's just like... Again, if it helped, like, maybe it's not as effective. I didn't read the studies. I don't know if this actually reduced spread, but it's like, if something reduces spread, who cares? Who cares? Why does it look like he's wearing a pair of Teddy Whitey's for a face mask? Well, it's their homemade uh, mask that is, uh, that says masks are useless on, on the front of it. I'm assuming you meant this one as the Teddy Whitey. David has confirmed a mouth breathing. These are nose guards in case I have to re remove my mouth mask for a snack. Now, to be extra careful, <laughs> as you can see, it's falling off, but we have a solution to that. Oh my 
we are going to apply, folks, the modern day miracle that is Saran Wrap. Oh my god, is he gonna kill himself? Good bit. What is he doing? He Saran Wrapped his entire face. Oh my god. Fucking do it. David, Come you on. can't breathe through Fucking that. Fucking do it. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see now, folks, um, the nose guard is firmly in place, and this plastic is even preventing shit. the coronavirus from escaping my pores. So, <laughs> Jody, can you dress up as David Menzies for oh Halloween? God. Can you do this? Oh, can I should make my own mask. Sorry, use this mask. Oh my god. Bio Rebel one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, uh, like, you could tell, like, he didn't do it, like, right over his mouth, okay? But, like, I, I thought he was going for it. Man, if he, like, tightened it right around his face. Holy cow. I was hoping he was gonna do his whole head or, like, whole body, like, mummy style. That, yeah. But, oh my god. That, uh, that got me. Holy shit. David Menzies. Oh, but don't worry, we're, we still have a few more steps yet. For example, a plastic face shield. Okay, so we got the three cloth masks, we got the nose guard, we got the saran wrap, and we have the plastic shield. Saran wrap on top of this, this now. We can actually put on the Halloween mask. You could have the mic underneath the... Do the, the, the Halloween mask on top of it? <laughs> I like to go as a skeleton. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, David, you can do it. <laughs> this is one of the best bits that he's done, like, purposefully ever. Okay, now... Oh my god! There's no such thing as being too safe, is there? So I think <laughs> over my skeleton mask, the actual Halloween mask... Well, another... <laughs> face shield. <laughs> Asphyxiating myself to own the libs. Well, uh, I think oh my I'm god. ready to trick or treat. Um, there's just one slight problem. I, I, I'm, I'm visually impaired right now. I'm not <laughs> sure where the door is. Trick or treat. Oh, oh no. So, uh -huh. I uh, I can't I'm amazed you can still hear him so well. Yeah. I mean, he must be yelling behind all the, the plastic. Uh, I mean, you were saying it was a good skit until he did the I'm going to walk into the wall bit, which was pretty lame. But, uh, yeah. but also, it's like, I, like, kids wear, like, full masks. I remember when, like, I was younger, some of my masks were, like, a literal, like, full-on stuff. Like, it barely even had mouth holes to breathe out of. So, I don't know. Like, I, I guess the joke is, like, it's so restrictive. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Uh, someone can mentioned you do some Doug cheesecake, cheesecake emojis since they still don't exist. They only exist for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, Reed Stars mentioned Doug Ford, and I couldn't think of a response that didn't involve cheesecake. Um. <laughs> Okay, let's just like talk briefly about like good Halloween masks that in good Halloween costumes that incorporate like masks or like mouth coverings. Um, mummy comes to mind. Um, he could have been a mummy saran wrap. He could have committed to the bit. Just like nude underneath, to <laughs> just saran wrap, nothing else. Uh you heard it, folks. You know what's David Menzoid nude? 
clearly in Saran Wrap. Next no holes, year, no openings. I'm going to go as a far more scary creature than a skeleton. It Namely, I'm going to get a costume that makes me look like a chief medical health officer. Ooh, talk about scary. For Rebel News, I'm David the Manzoid Manzi. You are right. It's, it's purely the physical comedy that, that wins every single yeah. time. His jokes, not funny. Say say no to smoke detectors. I'm not gonna click that. <laughs> I'm clicking that. Smoke detectors do not prevent fires. They only tell you if you are, if you already have a fire in your home. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god, that was good. That was good. I needed that. <laughs> that was a good end to this week for me. That was nice. There are people that pay to get mummy wrapped in saran wrap as a sexual fetish. Menzies is letting a secret fetish come out. I mean, he had the saran wrap ready to go. So, I think you're right. Hello, my rebels. Hello, my rebels. I'm a good boy! I'm a weirdo.